Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today we are going to study Organic Chemistry Lesson 21 Soap and Detergents. Soap is a mixture of sodium salts of long chain fatty acids. Fatty acids are straight chain carboxylic acids. Saponification is the process of making soap. Soap is prepared by alkaline hydrolysis of glyceraldehydes. Fats plus sodium hydroxide will give you glycerol and soap. Sources of vegetable oils, sunflower seeds, coconut seeds, sim sim, castor seeds, ground nuts, cotton seeds. Extraction of oil. Ripe seeds are dried and oil extracted by application of pressure or by solvent extraction. The residues or husks after extraction of oil are used as animal feeds or fertilizer. Process of making soap. Vegetable oil is boiled with sodium hydroxide until all the oil is hydrolyzed. Then a saturated solution of sodium chloride is added to precipitate soap. After cooling, soap is skimmed off and further processed. When potassium hydroxide is used instead of sodium hydroxide, soft soap is formed and this is usually used as basing soap. Glycerol or glycerin, the byproduct of making soap, is used in cosmetics and pharmaceuticals as a humectant. Additives in processing soap. Alcohols are added to make soap transparent. Perfumes are added to give soap characteristic smell. Dyes are added to give soap characteristic color. Germicides are added to kill bacteria when we use soap for basing. Chelating agents such as polyphosphates are added to chelate calcium and magnesium iron to enable soap form in hard water. Bleaching agents such as peroxide and parboleds are added to whiten corrosives. Feeders are added such as titanium dioxide to make soap bulk. Mechanism of soap. A soap molecule has a polar end, the carboxylate iron and the nonpolar end, the long carbon chain of 12 to 18 carbon. The polar end is soluble in the water, thus hydrophilic. The nonpolar end is water insoluble, thus hydrophobic.
it is soluble in nonpolar solvent molecules like this are called surfactants when soap is dissolved in water soap is dispersed into spherical clusters called micelles the nonpolar ends bound together in the anterior while the polar end project outside in the polar water solvent negatively charged carboxylate ions stored on the surface of the micelle the polarization between the similar charges keep the micelles dispersed during the washing fat soluble dirt is removed from the cloth and stabilized inside the micelle and water soluble dirt is dissolved in water this is how dirt is removed from the cloth or the substance being washed detergents detergents are synthetic cleansing agents other than sodium or potassium salts of carboxylic acids like a soap synthetic detergents are surfactants they have both polar and nonpolar groups as they remove that the same way soap does types of detergents one ionic detergents for example salts of alkyl hydrogen sulfate preparation alcohols between 12 to 18 carbon atoms are converted into salts of alkyl hydrogen sulfate for example, low layer alcohol reacts with sulfuric acid to form low layer hydrogen sulfate, which is neutralized to form sodium low layer sulfate, which is a detergent. For this, the nonpolar end is the long carbon chain and the polar end is the sulfate ion. Two, sodium salts or benzene sulfonic acid. These are most widely used detergents. A long chain alkyl group is attached to benzene ring from alkyl halide, alkanes, or alcohol. Sulfonation and neutralization yields detergents, as shown below. Three, nanionic detergents are prepared by treatment of alcohol with acylene oxide, as shown below hydrogen bondings to the numerous oxygen atoms make polyether and water soluble advantages of detergents detergents are effective in hard water they form neutral solution Disadvantages, they are non-biodegradable. Hard water. This is water that does not form lather with soap. Hardness of water is caused by salts of calcium and magnesium. In the presence of magnesium and calcium salts, 
soap reacts to form insoluble solids forming white precipitates called sicum.